Hey, it's Quentin again, and this is my third Adobe After Effects tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to do this effect. Oh, sorry. Nothing much. Cool. Hey. So it's the cloning effect when you just clone yourself. And it's really easy to do, even if, though it may look a little hard. All you need to do is just mask one of that one of the layers. So first let's take our video and drop it into the new composition. So this it needs, it needs to be on a tripod and you should walk to one spot and then pretend to talk to someone and wait for a response and then you could say something else if you want. And then move to the other spot where you want the clone to be and then like answer and then stay there for a little while and then you can come and shut off the camera. So, and also like don't change the lighting after making one clip, just like keep the same lighting. Ma it's kind of hard to do outside because um, the shadows will change. So that's why I did this one inside. So let's get started. First, take your layer and hit Control D. Name the top one left and the bottom one right because the top one is going to be the person on the left and the bottom one is going to be the person on the right. Actually, let's just reverse that because at the beginning of the video, I'm going to the right, so you should put the right on the top. But if you're going to the left first, then put the left layer on the top. So cut out the part where you walk to the area by hitting Alt and Bracket. Oh no, hit Control Z. Actually hit Alt Beginning Bracket. So now it cuts out the beginning. Now find the area when you go, when you switch places and then hit Alt End Bracket. So now it's just like that small. You can see how small it is now. Now you can bring it to the beginning of the composition timeline. Now you're going to take the bottom layer, which is named left. In my case, it's named left. And find the area when you walk to the other um, part of the screen. Now you can cut that out. And then when you see he leaves, you can cut that part out. So now put it under the right layer. So now you just have them on top of each other all cut out. Um, take the right layer and then just take the masking tool and put a mask around him. So now you can see he's right next to the clone so it almost looks like he's talking to him. But you can see there's like a line in between because the lighting did change a bit. So the right layer, you can click on that and then hit F for feathering. And this will like blend it together, like it will blend out the edges. So it makes it look like it's not, there's no line anymore. So now you have this, but you might want to, you might want to cut off the ending because you don't want a blank screen for a couple dozen seconds. So just find like the area when both of the people are still there and then down here it says it's three three seconds and 14 milliseconds, or 314. So go to Composition, Composition Settings, and change the duration to 314. So now the composition is smaller. Now you can load it to see if the timing is right. Hey, what's up? Oh, well, I cut it off a little bit, so maybe you can make the composition a little longer, maybe 25. So now, this is the basic effect, and it's really all you have to do. This will also work for, like, more people, like, if you want three people, then you can just cut it off the same way but for two people this is the way you do it and I'm just going to change the composition to 320 so hey, what's up? Nothing much. Cool. it got
got cut off again, but so this is the the effect you want and the ending effect. So yeah, like I said, you can do it with more than two people. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comment box below. So thanks for watching and bye.